And this happens by first leading themselves so that they can lead others and then in turn, turn those future leaders into future leaders who are influencing. That's how you make a force multiplying massive impact. People say they want to impact the world. That's how you do it. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we're talking about the E's. And not the E's for Eckert, but these are the 14 E's to explode your self-leadership and your leadership of other people. So it's leadership of self, personally, and also professionally. So I want you to think about that. And it's 14, but some of them are like a two-for-one deal. So you could 12, 14, whatever you want to call it. You can even rate yourself in each of these categories. You don't need a total score. And this is kind of some of the work I do with some of my high-end one-on-one operate to dominate coaching clients. And also sometimes we, we've done this in our group coaching program, the Freak Follow Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program. And I want to share it with you because I think it's, it's pretty valuable and pretty important because it kind of shines light on some areas of your own personal and professional leadership that maybe need some improvement or need some work or whatever you want to call it. So Let's jump right into it. These are the, the 14 Eckert E's to explode and explode your leadership, your influence, and your success. And I'm not going to run through all of them because you, you're not going to, we'll go them one by one. And, and so you could score yourself on these a, a scale of one to five. And after I kind of explain how I want you to think about it, then give yourself a score on it. And it doesn't matter about the total score. We're not worried about the total score. We're just worried about each individual section. What was the score and what do we need to do to to get better at that score? So the first E, and these are in order. These are kind of flowing in a framework in order, uh, uh, kind of setting each other up, setting the tone. One is kind of leading it to next. So the first thing, the first E to explode your leadership, your influence, and your success. And I want you to, again, you you could score these personally and professionally. The first E is in vision. Basically, you're you're just giving showing a, a vision of a compelling future for yourself, for your family, or for your team, for the company. And and we've done entire episodes on kind of creating your ideal life, your ideal lifestyle. And a lot of that had to do with creating a vision. So you can go deeper into this topic on that. Look back in those previous episodes. But this is a compelling future that you are showing on the personal side to your family and friends, on the professional side to your team, your coworkers, your employees, whatever it is. And really it's just how are you going to be of service in the future? What is it going to look like? What is and, and you're just seeing the goal and every step along the way and what does it look like? What does it feel like? And diving into that envisioning of what is what is that lifestyle that you're looking for? What does the future look for? What is the purpose? Where do you see things going? What does it all look like? How do you feel? How do you operate? I want you to see it, feel it, freaking sense it because you need to then communicate that to the people around you, that, that envisioning. And you need to do that again, personally, professionally. What's the vision you have for your team? How do they interact? How do they talk with each other? How do they communicate? How do they work together? How do they have fun together? What roles do, do different do you need in, in that big picture? How do they treat each other? How do they work all this stuff? On the, also on the, per, the personal side, you can do the same thing. What's the, the vision you have for your family? Like for me, one of the visions I have for our family is having this freak fortress compound where there's multiple houses on, on dozens of acres of land and The whole family is all living together. My kids and my kids' kids have their own houses eventually. And it's all just there on that Eckert Freak family compound. And that's the way I see it. So what is the the vision of your legacy that, that you have in mind? And what are the big, bold moves that you want to make in the business? And what's the vision of where you see things going? So that's the first one, envision. And... 
The next one is, in, is, it's a two for one. It's enthusiasm and energy. That's why I said there's 14 E's, but these two are combined together. That I just needed to use both words because they both are a little bit different feel. But just the enthusiasm and energy. As a leader, when you're looking to influence others, personally, professionally, how, how is your enthusiasm? What is your energy like? What's the energy you bring? Can your energy be felt from the people around you? Do you light people up around you? So that's a, a quick, straightforward one. Just judge yourself and score yourself on energy and enthusiasm when it comes to leadership and influence of your in your personal life and in your professional life. Give that a, a score of one to five. Pretty straightforward. Not much we need to go into that one. Next one, number the third E is embody. Meaning that you are holding up the and living according to the standards. We usually, all right, we're setting the standards in the envision. Now, we need to live the standard in the embody. And another E is enforce those standards. And that's not even one of the E's here, but I'm writing down a note here. I may even add a 15th E, enforce, because that's not in there. You do need to enforce those standards then. So why might I add a 15th E? Look at that. We just made that up here. That's why you're always learning, always looking to get better. So I have a notebook right here. So I'm literally taking notes while I'm talking because things pop up in your head when you're doing stuff like this. So embody, embody the message, embody the vision that you're talking about. Stand up for your values, your family values, your core values. Hold yourself to the standards, the higher level, and be that role model of what you want to be. Like, are you embodying the the values and worth ethic that you want in your people, that you want your people to follow? And where, where can you how can you embody that even better? How can you be more in alignment with that envisioning that you talked about, with that vision that we talked about? Like you need to embody. You don't need to tell people only, or you can't only tell people how you want things to be or how they should operate or how great you are. And you just need to show it, give the example and keep getting fucking better and better. And embody is also another E we could add into that. Embody is example. So that could be another two for one deal. So, and you should also embody the, the way you, you operate, the way you carry yourself in your taking care of yourself with your discipline and your health and your fitness and your relationships, how you talk and operate and show up and the confidence and how prepared you are. We just did an episode recently on being prepared. Embody all these things, how you show up every fucking day to what you're doing. And that's the third one. The next E is execution. All right, so we set the vision. We have tons of energy enthusiasm around it. We're embodying it. We're living it out. But when it comes down to the things that we need to get done, are we actually following through? Are we executing? Execution. Are we executing and doing the things that we say we're going to do? being a man of our word and following through, not just coming up with a bunch of ideas, but taking things, seeing things from the envision stage into the actual implementation and execution stage. So how are you doing in execution and getting the things done that you say you're going to get done personally and professionally? Leads us to the next one is excellence. And how much excellence and how well are you doing the, the, those things that you are executing? Are you just doing them to do them and just checking the boxes? Are you doing them at such a high level of excellence with pride because that's how you operate? Again, all these things flow together. So just, I mean, we're going to keep recapping along the way, but you're having that envision with energy and enthusiasm and embodying that vision that you want the people around you to have as you lead them, you're embodying it, but then you are executing with excellence. So rate yourself one to five on execution, then rate yourself one to five on excellence. Now, the next one is elevation. So, all right, you are now executing like a motherfucker. You're showing up with excellence, doing shit the way you should be doing it. Like we talked about in the preparation, how you do anything is how you do anything. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. Now, elevation of yourself. Are you always constantly trying to get better, working one step closer to self-mastery. So you're not just complacent and you're not satisfied with just good enough. You are constantly elevating yourself. Not other people yet. We're going to get to that. But you're elevating yourself. And you can see these first six are really all about you. And then they're going to go into other people. So you need to first lead yourself 
and influence yourself, lead yourself first so that you can influence other people and create future leaders in those other people. But you need to do it by elevating yourself, constantly getting even better. Always throw the word even before stuff. So you can always get even better. And that's where elevation comes into it. Elevation really means even better on everything you're doing, constantly getting better. And then now let's start taking that. Those first six were kind of about us and leading yourself. Now let's talk about influencing others, using these E's to influence. And the first one is enlist, all right? So you have that envision, you're embodying it, you're full of energy and enthusiasm, you're executing with excellence, you're constantly getting better yourself, but are you getting other motherfuckers on board with you? You need to be able to enlist, enlist your team to support this vision that you have, that envisioning that you have. Do you get people's buy-in? Do you get your people's buy-in? Do you get your family's buy-in to whatever the vision you have is for the family? Are you operating like a kind of person that they want to follow, that they're enlisted and they're buying into what you say because they know you're embodying it. They know you're doing it with energy and enthusiasm. They see you executing on the things that you say you're going to do. They see you constantly making yourself better. So they want to be enlisted. And you need to never stop enlisting your team and bringing them along for the ride and getting their input, getting their feedback, getting them on board and their contributions, getting them to buy in to this vision. So enlist is that that seventh one. And let's go into the eighth is now empower. All right, you enlisted them. You got their buy-in. Now you have to give them that freedom. You have to empower them. So rate yourself. How are you doing empowering in your personal leadership and in your professional leadership? And are you empowering them with education and information and knowledge and confidence and competence and giving them the information and teaching them and training them and coaching them and mentoring them the way that you need to so they could be successful and so that they want to be enlisted by you? Like, are you empowering them? Giving them that decision-making authority, giving them that freedom to shine, to use their strengths, to contribute to the big picture, to be part of the freaking big picture, to be part of that vision. They need to be empowered. They need to not just feel like they're told everything what to do. They need to have that freedom, that autonomy, and, and let them have their space so they could work their magic in their own ways and, and do shit probably a lot of times better than you can, but they aren't going to do it if all these other E's don't check out first. They have to go in this order. They ha- has to flow in this order. Now, after you empower them, you need to, this one's kind of a self-leadership and a social leadership is endurance. You need to show that you're in this for the long run, that you are capable of lasting in the long run, and you need to make sure your people are capable of doing the same thing. So what is your endurance like? Are you crumbling under the pressure? Are you fading? Are you not sticking to the, to the game plan because you're not able to keep up? Endurance is huge. In it for the long run, not the quick fix, not the, the quick instant gratification. Endurance means you're in it for the long run. You're in it for the big picture. You're in it for the team. And you are, are understand delayed gratification. So what does your endurance look like personally, professionally? Number 10 is encourage. How do you do it encouraging your team? Being the biggest freaking cheerleader, throwing your little mini skirt on your fucking pom-poms and being the biggest cheerleader for, for your people, for your kids and your family and your, and your spouse, for your friends on the personal side, on the professional side, for your employees, the people that you want to follow you. But also, what about the people that you're following? What about your boss or, or partners? Are you encouraging them? Like you have to. You have to always be steering things towards progress and positivity by lifting them up and encouraging them. Force, force that positivity in there. Make it like part of the game where, where you are their biggest supporter and uplifting the freaking team. And that's what the next one goes into. The next E is elevation of others. Earlier we talked about elevating yourself. You are literally doing those first six and, and then leading, ending off with elevating yourself so that you can elevate others. So that even after th- those kind of self-leadership, after you've enlisted them and you 
empowered them and, and they have the endurance to go to the long run and you're encouraging them, you are now helping them elevate. So they're not getting stagnant. They're not staying in place. They're constantly growing, constantly getting better. And you are helping to elevate them. You are lifting them up, sometimes pushing them up, sometimes pulling them up, but supporting them and uplifting them, elevating of other people. Elevate yourself so that you can elevate other freaking people. And then the last one is evaluate. And this is both, again, evaluating yourself personally, also evaluating others and evaluating yourself and others professionally on performance, on output, on results, on what worked, what didn't work, asking for feedback, giving feedback on a regular basis, consistent feedback and coaching of your people constantly giving consistent feedback and coaching. How often are you really evaluating yourself? I do it every fucking day. Literally part of my morning routine and nighttime routine in different ways, I am evaluating myself and reflecting and giving myself scores and going over what worked, what didn't work, what needs to get better, what can I do better, what can I improve on? What did work? What can I, what I need to do more of? How is this going to help me? This worked in one area. Evaluate how it can help me in other areas. And then evaluate other people. How often are you giving feedback to other people? How often are you evaluating your people and giving them feedback on your team, on your staff, your employees, or whatever else with the intention of making the relationship better, with the intention of making the business better, with the intention of making this team stronger so that they could get better outcome, which will lead to more money. Like it's all about progress towards the mission and the vision and the values and the goals. Evaluating how they progress according to the mission and the vision. All these things line up and you need to not only evaluate yourself. You need to evaluate other people. You need to ask them to evaluate you. And you also need to teach your people to evaluate their people because that's what this is about. This is about leadership and leadership, but also influence personally and professionally. And, and that's what this entire list is about. Again, envision so that you can uh, show up with enthusiasm and energy embody this message and vision that you're talking about, execution with excellence, so, and then continuing to elevate yourself, enlisting the others, the people around you, the family, the team, empowering those people that you've enlisted, empowering them with the freedom so that they have the endurance to stay in for the long run because they want to stay in for the long run because they believe in what the fuck you're doing and then encourage them and uplift them and then elevate those other people and then evaluate it so we can get even fucking better. Guess there's another E right there, even better. Should finish off with that after evaluate, even better. We're going to have like 50 fucking E's when we're done with this because I keep writing down more E's, enforce, example, even better. So these are the 14 or the 50 fucking E's to explode your leadership, your influence, and your success. And it's very straightforward. Each one of these literally either has been or could be or will be a whole separate episode. We don't need to break down all those E's. We'd be here for hours, but I just want to lay down this framework for you so you can kind of rate yourself and see, all right, where am I lacking? So score each of those E's one through five personally and one through five professionally on each one of those. Don't worry about any total scores. We just want to see which ones stand out, which ones need some work, which ones need some attention. And then we could dive into, all right, here's where I need some work. I could probably refer you to a previous episode that has to do with one of those where we did a deep dive into that, maybe evaluate and giving and receiving feedback and having tough conversations and the importance of those tough conversations and how to have them and things like that. So tons of these have separate episodes on their own. And again, this is the kind of work I do with my high-end one-on-one clients and in the group coaching program, the Freak Father Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program where I help entrepreneurs, fathers, and men develop a no excuses mindset so they could build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning so they can attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle with time freedom for their families. And this happens by first leading themselves so that they can lead others and then in turn 
turn those future leaders into future leaders who are influencing. That's how you make a force multiplying, massive impact. People say they want to impact the world. That's how you do it. Follow these 14 E's. Create future leaders. So first be a leader yourself. Lead yourself. Create future leaders who then create future leaders. Think about that. So there's levels to it. That's how you have a effect and impact millions of people. Imagine creating future leaders who also create future leaders. That is a force fucking multiplying effect of leadership, of influence, of fulfillment, of impact, and of success. Again, this is the stuff we dive deep into every week in the Freak Follow Alliance. So if you want information about the Freak Follow Alliance, just send me a message down below and I will hook you up and get you locked in on, on a trial or something like that if you haven't ever tried it out before. And I guarantee you'll be locked in and hooked for life because you're going to be constantly getting even better every single week. So I want to hear uh, about down below, what are some of the low scores you had? Because you should have evaluated yourself and all these and evaluate is one of those freaking E's. So if you didn't evaluate yourself in these, you probably have a low score and evaluate because you didn't fucking evaluate yourself. So what scores did you have a low score on these, on the, on the one to five of these different E's? And what the hell are you planning to do about it? How are you now going to implement? Now that we shine some light on the areas where you are lacking, what the hell are you going to do about it? I want to see in the comments down below, where were some of your lower scores and what are you committing to do about it? Put it down below. I want to hear about it. And I probably could throw you some a little bit of input and feedback on the areas where you might be lacking and we'll take it from there. And so put those comments down below. Send me a message about the Freak Follow Alliance. I will get you hooked up. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.